Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this video is going to teach you how to make a screencast for your flipped classroom using the QuickTime app. The first thing we need to do is find the QuickTime app. So we're going to use our launch pad, which is either the rocket ship on your dock, or you can hit the F4 button. And it's found on page one on most of your computers, and it's a uh, silver queue with a blue center. So you're just going to open the QuickTime player app and it will say quick time on the upper left hand uh, toolbar and you would like to go to where it says file and then new screen recording now once you get your screen recording bar set up you want to go to where it says view and do float on top that way this bar is always on top and it doesn't get buried behind your other windows the only other thing you need to do is this little arrow right here allows you to decide whether or not you would like to use a built-in microphone, the internal microphone, or no microphone. You're probably going to want, if you're recording this on your Mac, to use the built-in microphone. So you're going to select built-in microphone. Um, I'm actually not going to do that right now, but it would look like this. And then you can see that it does the little gray bars to the side there, so that indicates your volume. Um, and then this option here, show mouse clicks and recording, that actually will show. Um, it changes the color when you click on something in the recording. So it, it calls attention to where your mouse is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a screen recording of a PowerPoint. So I'm going to open up PowerPoint and I'm going to um, end this show and then start back up. So you can see it's a PowerPoint, 16 slides long. Um, so I would just go to where I want to start from. I want to start from the beginning and I'm going to drag this out of the way because if you click on it during the PowerPoint, when the PowerPoint's full screen, if you click on that, I'll show you what happens. Um, so if I go full screen and then I click on this, it, it bounces back. So I just want it up out of the way where I'm not going to have to move it very much. That's all. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the screen recording and it says click to view, um, so to drag, I could drag to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, what I want to do is I actually want a full screen. I just hit the escape, by the way, to get rid of that. So click to record the, the full screen. So I'm just going to click in this gray bar. And then I'm going to click the present mode. And I would talk about water potential and osmosis in plant cells. And I use my arrow keys to advance. And my animations work. Um, and I would go through my whole presentation, just going ahead and doing my lecture notes. If I need to back up, I can back up and then go back, just like you would anytime you're doing a PowerPoint for your class. Uh, this works exactly the same if you are using notebook or any other presentation. Anything that you're doing where you just have one app open. So I click the finish button um, up there. That's all I did. I just clicked the finish button when I was done and it opens up a new window. And I'm going to make this smaller so it's more obvious what I've done. So you can see my whole desktop has been recorded and if you press play it advances through and you can see exactly what your presentation would look like and when it gets to the end you know I do recommend that you you kind of watch and go through them because sometimes um, it can glitch on you um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I can have the option to do this where I can send it directly to YouTube or one of the other services. I actually like to keep a copy of the video on my hard drive. So all I'm going to do is actually, and this is scary, I know, all I'm going to do is close out of it. And that's it. I'm just going to close it. And it's going to ask me, do I want to save it? And the answer is, yeah, I want to save it. I'm going to save it as Water Potential Notes. And I'm just going to save it directly to my desktop. Now, the format that I like to save mine in is actually the format for um, iPad and iPhone and Apple TV. Sometimes if I'm worried about the video being really big, I'll go ahead and save it as the iPod Touch format. But normally I just go ahead and do the iPad format. And then I just click Save and it's going to go ahead and put it on my desktop. So it'll export to my desktop. And here it is. So here's my video and the water potential notes.mp4 doesn't show up the whole time it's just saying that that's what I opened and so there's my there's my uh, video and I can go ahead and I can put that wherever I would like to put it so I upload mine to YouTube but you can just as easily upload it to Edmodo or SchoolWeb or you can just put it in your Google Drive and then give the students access to that 
I hope that helps.